Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. For many years, astronomers have expressed confidence in their understanding of the origins of the universe. Today, most astronomers agree that a primordial creation event called the Big Bang gave birth to the universe precisely 13.7 billion years ago. But a new scientific study is one of many findings that raise significant questions about this theory. Researchers using the Hubble telescope have spotted an astounding spiral galaxy. Astounding, they say, because it shouldn't exist. The researchers have dated the galaxy's age at 10.7 billion years old. Lead author of the study, David Law, says of these findings, the fact that this galaxy exists is astounding. Current wisdom holds that such grand design spiral galaxies simply didn't exist at such an early time in the history of the universe. What are we to make of these and other findings that defy the underpinnings of the Big Bang theory? Standard theories dictate the faster an object recedes from Earth, the farther away it is because the primordial Big Bang explosion is supposed to have imparted an initial push that's causing the universe to expand. Using those theoretical parameters, a faster recessional velocity means greater distance, which means an earlier time period in the universe. And since an object almost 11 billion light years away is from the so-called early days of the universe, it shouldn't exhibit such complexity of form because there wasn't enough time since the Big Bang for that complexity to evolve. Astronomers are surprised to find a high redshift galaxy with spiral structure. It has a redshift of 2.18, and most galaxies with that high of a redshift have irregular shapes. This one has well-defined arms, and it even has a companion at the end of one of them. The Big Bang theory assumes that redshift is an indicator of distance, which would put this galaxy at about 11 billion light years away. If it's that far away, it's therefore large and bright. But modern astronomy dismissed the observations of many astronomers in the last half of the 20th century, astronomers like Halton Arp and the Burbages. They found that high redshift objects tend to cluster around nearby low redshift objects. They found many uh, physical connections, and they even found some high redshift objects in front of low redshift objects. These observations were misrepresented, and the misrepresentations were disproved. So with that excuse, the observations were dismissed, and the Big Bang theory was saved. This is kind of a new scientific method. Instead of observation theory and testing, the, the data is judged by its conformity with belief. If it doesn't conform, then there's something wrong with the data, and the data is dismissed. In this case, fervency of belief replaces testing. If redshift is not proportional to distance, then the universe is not expanding and there's no Big Bang. Scientists in the Electric Universe community suspect that high redshift is intrinsic to the plasma environment of a young or newborn galaxy. This galaxy is likely nearby, small, and faint. In the in the electric universe hypothesis, a uh, high redshift is an indicator of youth and being highly charged. High redshift objects are born by the electrical and by electrical injection from older galaxies. So the companion at the end of the arm indicates that this galaxy has had recent ejection activity. It's an active galaxy, and active galaxies are usually spiral. So in the electric universe hypothesis, this object isn't surprising at all. It's expected. The same electric force responsible for a galaxy's redshift may also give rise to its spiraling structure and other features such as polar jets. One of the most significant contributors, I would say, to plasma cosmology and the electric universe theory was Dr. Anthony Peratt, a plasma physicist. And uh, he was a protege of Hans Alfvén, the famous Nobel laureate. And Peratt studied plasma formations in the laboratory for many years. And what he did was create uh, what are called particle and cell animations on supercomputers. 
galaxies are, rather than being condensations of gas and dust that are gravitationally bound together, were actually plasma formations. And he thought that these simulations showed that cosmic plasma is confined due to self-consistent magnetic fields. And these magnetic fields are induced by currents that are flowing through the plasma, creating filamentary structures. And a cross-section through these filamentary structures indicated the formation of several galaxy configurations. And among those configurations were elliptical and barred spiral shapes. So Parad insisted that plasma, along with electricity, engenders the structures in the universe. And since galaxies are often strung like pearls through space, or like beads on a string, that galactic arrangement lends credence to that idea. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.